have some good news in your long range forecast as well. Weather is brought to you by Train for home comfort, cooling, and clean air. It's hard to stop a train. So, how hot did it get? We managed to climb to about 28 degrees today here in the city of Toronto. Uh, the record to beat was 34. We didn't get there, but it felt like it with the humidity. A, certainly a muggy day today. But we've now had a cold front move through. Temperatures are starting to fall, and we are looking at an overnight low in Toronto of 11 degrees. That's cooler than normal, and we're talking single digit overnight lows in some places further to the north. There's also a frost advisory in effect for northern parts of Ontario. Yes, in late June and on the first day of summer, the first full day anyway. We'll say goodbye to the cold front. High pressure will be somewhat at play for tomorrow. It's going to make for some decent conditions, mix of sun and cloud. At times there will likely be more cloud than sun. Our best chance of maybe a pop-up shower, that's not going to come until we make our way into the day on Wednesday. And even at that, it's not a sure thing. We're talking more long range forecast when it comes to significant rainfall. But here's a look at some of tomorrow's forecast daytime highs into the teens in some communities. Uh, Caledon, 18 degrees, 17 in Innisfil and 19 in Ajax. Here's a look at what you can expect in eastern sections of our province. 19, for example, in Coburg. Compare that to the norm for this time of year, which is around 25 in Toronto. So cooler than normal. Seven day forecast looks like this. Already looking ahead to the weekend where it will be warm once again, but unsettled right through to the early part of next week. That's your look at the weather. Nathan, over to you. All right. Thanks, Lindsay. From backyards to popular parks, the gypsy moth is wreaking havoc across the province.